Hi, this is Dr. Raj Banerjee, and in this video, we're going to talk about the Oxford University study. So there was another study done, and it was financed by the British government conducted by Oxford University. And this study looked at uh, about a quarter of the British population, and that age group that they found was that in the study, it was about 66% chance of breast cancer and a 22% increase in the mortality of women uh, that were taking synthetic hormones. And the researchers in Britain extrapolated that about 100,000 plus cases of breast cancer in the U.S. Um, you know, concurred over the last 10 years due to the use of synthetic hormones. If you look back at this chart about the other factors like strokes, heart attacks, blood clots, and how many had an increased risk of Alzheimer's just from taking these synthetic hormones, you know, took 40 years for this to actually hit, right? And there was a level of resentment and outrage, not an acceptable period of time to determine if the drug was safe in the US or not. And 40 years is not acceptable. So this drug has been around since the early 1960s and they, they're just telling you about this, right? So the differences in intervention between many of European nations and the US speaks volume about the power of our ph pharmaceutical companies over the government decision. So if you need convincing, it took 28 years of high dose birth control pills to be withdrawn from the US. These pills were up, up to about, you know, a thousand percent higher than what they use today, okay? Whereas in Britain, it took less than three years for the high dose pills to disappear entirely from the market after the study was confirmed. You know, the tenfold increase in the mortality rates of women who took birth control pills consistently for over the five years, right? So the example summarized typical medical treatments. Dr. J. Cullen, who has written a good book called Overdose, well, it's a well-written chapter about Premarin and the dosing. He takes a hard look at medical research, the prescribing practices of physicians and how unnecessary side effects are the result of one-side-fit-all dosages. In the case of Premarin, the smallest dose, uh, dose available is about 8 to 10 times higher. And let me repeat that, 8 to 10 times higher of what a normal woman actually needs. Would you buy a dress that's 8 to 10 times larger than what you need, right? So the basic conclusion now is that these hormones are just So this is the end of this take. video, and I just wanna leave you with one quick point. And if you get this, you can free yourself from chronic fatigue and pain and depression and overweight. The female hormones do not all of a sudden malfunction by themselves. They are responding to stress as a stress hormone called cortisol. Every molecule of cortisol that you produce comes from progesterone. When under stress, guess what happens? Your cortisol goes up and your progesterone drops. So what you need to do is you need to figure out what your cortisol level is and fix it. And throughout these videos, I'm gonna show you the whole physiology of the female hormones and what you can do to actually get the results that you're looking for so you don't have these crazy symptoms. They'll help you eliminate depression, fatigue, night sweats, hot flashes, mood swings, all that stuff we just talked about. And it'll improve your metabolism so you're able to actually start to lose weight again. This is Dr. Raj Banerjee. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for the next one. Please make sure you like my video and also subscribe to my channel so I can continue to make these kind of videos for you. Your support is appreciated. Leave a comment down below letting me know what kind of other videos you'd like to see so I can make them for you. Thank you so much and please visit my site getleantoday.com.